Hi, and welcome to another installment of Feature Flurry. My name is Maeve Donovan. I'm a senior product marketing manager here at Snowflake focused on applications. Today, we're gonna to talk about how Snowflake is empowering application development. And to dive into this further and learn more, let's chat with Chris Child, Senior Director of Product Management here at Snowflake. Hey, Chris. Hi, Maeve. So jumping right in, let's talk about what application development looks like with Snowflake today and what trends we're seeing from our customers and the market. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things that's really nice is Snowflake has supported application developers really from the very beginning. Some of our earliest and biggest customers were using Snowflake to power their applications directly. Uh, what they've done is build an application layer and use Snowflake as really the data backend for that, like, like you sort of would in traditional application development. But what's been really shifting recently has been a move to where customers don't want to just use applications that each maintain their own copy of data. They want to have a single centralized copy of their data across all the applications they're using. And they really want to bring the applications to that data. And so a lot of what we've been working on and building at Snowflake are capabilities to help make it easier for you to build applications and bring them to where your end customers are so that they can maintain a single copy of their data, well secured, well governed, and be able to use that data across all of their different applications and all of their different use cases. Awesome. What does this look like in action? Yeah, so what this means in action is that really you can either run your application code still and connect to your customer's Snowflake instance, or with some of the new capabilities that we've created specifically around native applications and Unistore uh, and a lot of the Snowpark and Snowpark container services that we've done, you can actually deploy your application directly into your customer's account. And what this means in both cases is that rather than you having to pay to maintain a lot of data infrastructure, pay to store and process data, the customer does that with their own infrastructure and their own Snowflake setup. This means as an application developer, you get better margins. It also means that you get access to customers who already have Snowflake set up, which means they don't have to spend a tremendous amount of time vetting you to decide if they're comfortable with you storing their data. Instead, you just talk to their data where it lives inside Snowflake, where they're already comfortable uh, with the data being stored and processed. Awesome. So you mentioned increased development around Snowpark and everything like that. There's huge excitement around Snowpark container services. What does this mean for application development and especially with, you know, making it easier for everyone to build apps on top of Snowflake? Yeah. So there's two different ways that we've really been trying to expand the types of applications that, that, that can be run on Snowflake and how much of the application stack can sit inside Snowflake. Originally, you could use Snowflake really as a data storage and processing layer. You talk to it through SQL and anything that you wanted to write, any business logic or UI logic that you wanted to write, obviously not in SQL, you had to host yourself somewhere else. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work to kind of move up that stack and be able to host more and more of your application inside Snowflake. One big step there was towards Snowpark in general, which allows us to run Python and Java and Scala directly inside Snowflake. That meant that you could write much richer application logic and run it inside Snowflake instead of in your own infrastructure. Another big step has been Snowpark container services. This allows you to take not just Python and Java and Scala, but any language, any application, really anything that you can run in a container, Docker or OCI compliant, and deploy that into Snowflake to run on compute directly against the data. This opens up a whole new world of types of application and rich experiences that you can build. We also added support for Streamlit, an open source Python library. And this allows you to build interactive experiences in Python and host and run those inside Snowflake without having to manage a container. And so this gives you a spectrum of different opportunities and different ways to create really the right experience for your customers and, and for your application. The last two pieces of this are Unistore, which will be the ability to store transactional and operational data inside Snowflake. So in a lot of cases, you need to store you know, much faster state and, and other information to be able to run your application. And with Unistore and hybrid tables, you're able to do that directly inside Snowflake. And the final piece is the native applications framework. This allows you to bundle up all these pieces that we've been talking about, anything from tables of data to SQL sort of procedures and functions and tasks through to Snowpark user defined functions and table functions to containers, to streamlit apps, to, to rich UIs that you've built yourself. You can package all of these up and deliver them through the Snowflake marketplace directly to consumers. We will then instantiate your entire application 
in their account, on their infrastructure, inside their security boundary, while still protecting all of your IP and, and allowing you to monetize and monitor and log and understand exactly what's happening. Uh, and so the goal is really this gives you the best of both worlds. From their experience, it's as easy and simple as running a SaaS application. And from your experience, you're actually getting to deploy onto their infrastructure where, where they pay the heavy costs and you're able to charge high margin uh, licensing fees, which is, which is great and exciting. It's really great to see that we're investing in the breadth and depth of application development from managed to connected to now Snowflake NATO application framework. Thanks, Chris, for all this information. And if you want to learn more about how Snowflake enables the development and scaling of data intensive applications without the operational burden, check out the links in the description below. Make sure to keep an eye on this channel for additional feature flurry videos on Snowpark container services, as well as Snowflake native app framework. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one.